everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. Can you stand to your feet and clap your hands and make some noise for Jesus? Are you excited? I said, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. We come to celebrate and give God glory. Amen. We're going to get ready for scripture at this time. Amen. Since we didn't have our Sunday school this morning, amen. Sister Vicki Sloan, amen, is going to come to you with our scripture reading at this time. I will be coming from the book of Psalms, chapter 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Yes, my mouth shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me yes, and let us exalt his name together. Yes, Lord. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. May, the, may these scriptures be blessing and sufficient for the service today. Amen. We thank God for this reading of the scripture. Amen. First of all, I'd like to honor God. Amen. To the leaders of this house, Bishop Dupree and First Lady Dupree, co-pastor Sloan, to Mother Wilson, to our speaker of the hour, Elder Easter. Amen. To all of you in your respectful places. Amen. Those of you that are streaming live, amen, we ask you to take the time to click and share our posts. Amen. We have Minister Mary Cook, amen, who's going to come to us. Amen. To you, amen, and lead us before the throne of grace. Father God, in the mighty precious name of Jesus. Yes. Father God, it's once again that we stand before you, oh God. Blessing you and thanking you for your goodness and your mercy. Yes. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God, for hallelujah, for keeping us throughout the night, oh God. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God, for waking us up this morning. Oh God, we just want to thank you, oh God. Oh God, we ask you to come in the midst of us, oh God. Break every yoke, oh God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, break every foul spirit oh God. Hallelujah. That's coming against you, Lord God. That's coming in the midst, oh God, of your work, oh God. Bless our souls this morning. In the name of Jesus, have your way, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we expect the miracles after miracles, oh God. We expect them breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, oh God, feed your people. Feed your people, oh God. Bless your people. In the name of Jesus, pour out your spirit, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are looking, oh God. God, for you to do a work, do a work in us, oh God, feed us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, uplift our spirit, in the name of Jesus, the devil is a liar, hallelujah, Jesus, 
Uplift us, oh God. Breathe on us, oh God. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Have your way, God. Have your way, Lord God. Touch our minds. Touch our hearts. In the name of Jesus, it's all about you. Not how well we do it or what we think or how to do it. But it's all about you. We want to give you praise. We come to give you glory. We come to bless your name. Hey, yeah, God. Yeah, God. Come in the midst, God. Come in the midst. Help us to look up above the crowd hallelujah and look unto you who is the author and the finisher of our faith hey god now we thank you oh god bless bless our pastor bless the first lady bless the co-pastor bless every heart in the name of jesus oh god we glorify you we magnify you we thank you and we bless you in the precious name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the blessed Holy Spirit. We call it all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We bless you, God. We bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for the soul staring prayer. Amen. Can you make some noise? Amen. We know that prayer changes things. Prayer changes people. Prayer can go where we're unable to go. Amen. Prayer can do what we're unable to do. Amen. I know that prayer changes things. Amen. Another thing that changes things is not only prayer, but our praise this morning, amen, can take us to a stratosphere like no other. Our stratosphere, while we praise God in the middle of this sanctuary, God can go and work those situations on our behalf. That problem, that obstacle, while we're praising God here in the sanctuary, our praise will send significations to heaven that God, we trust you, God, that we love you. Oh God, we're taking you at your word, God, and we're gonna give you glory and we give you praise. And for that we say, oh Lord, we praise you, Lord. Oh Lord, we praise you. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. Oh, 
amen good or bad amen but we said like the do in the morning God amen we want you to rest upon our hearts this morning rest upon our minds this morning and we ask you to saturate our soul this morning God with your power and with your spirit like the do in the morning hallelujah Jesus like the do
tomorrow amen but we know one thing amen that God promised that he'll never leave us neither will he forsake us the writer said I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed bed bread amen I come to let you know that if God said it he's able to do it he's not a man that he should lie Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. But sisters and brothers, we got to be encouraged that weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. It's easier said than done, amen. Sometimes you got to tell yourself good morning. In the midst of the storm, in the midst of the pain, amen. You got to tell yourself it's morning time in my life. Everything around me may say it's a midnight hour, but I see it before I see it. Amen, that it's morning time. Because I know who holds tomorrow. I know who's my rock, my sword, and my shield. Amen, and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't know. about tomorrow I just live from 
today, today. Yeah. I don't borrow from life sunshine for its sky. May turn gray. I don't worry about the future. For I know what Jesus said. Him. Yes, I do. Yeah. For he knows yeah. what lies yeah. ahead. Yeah. Now, every step, how many yeah. believe that? Yeah. It's getting brighter. It's the golden. As I cry, and every burden gets lighter, and every cloud is silver lined. Now there's the sun, is always shining. There no tears will dim their eyes, but at the end of that old rainbow, where the mountain touch the sky. Lord, I don't know, I don't know about tomorrow, cause it might bring, it might bring me oh, poverty, oh, but the one who feeds the sparrow, is the one who stands by me. Now there's the sun is always shining. There no tear will dim their eyes. And every burden gets lighter, and every cloud is silver, silver line. The many things about tomorrow. I just came, I can't seem to understand, but I know, I know who holds tomorrow, and I Understand, but I know if I don't know anything else, I know who holds 
tomorrow. Yeah. And Many things yeah. about yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. We may not understand what gon' we'll hold tomorrow. Yeah. Amen. What we're confronted with when we leave out this door. Yeah. Many things yeah. I just I can't know. understand. Yeah. But I over trouble water oh god you protect me in the fire i know Jesus. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take him and his work. Just to rest upon his promises. Just to the Lord Jesus Jesus how I trust him how I prove him more and more Oh, for grace to trust Him more. I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. Anybody free this morning? Lift your hands and say, No longer bow. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. Anybody resting in the arms of Jesus this morning? It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. You've been so good, Lord. Praise the Lord. You are wheel in the middle of the wheel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. I'm no longer bound. The things that used to hold me in bondage, God set me free. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. I know you to be a mind regulator. 
Jesus. Praise the Lord. You put food on my table daily, Lord. Praise the Lord. You put a roof over my head, Lord. Praise the Lord. You will protect the Lord. You will battle like Lord. You're everything we need, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I Because I've been through too much. Not to worship him. Anybody testimony that this morning? I've been through too much. Not to worship him. I've been, I've been through too much. Not to worship him. been talked about, you've been lied on, you've been mistreated, you've been ridiculed, been hey. but in the midst of it all, hasn't he kept you, hasn't he kept you in the midst of the sun?
you, Jesus. Thank 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 you, Jesus. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Everybody love the Lord today. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. of all the praise this morning. Yes, you are, Lord. Think about the times that he's made ways for you. Can we lift our hands in the sanctuary and take a stroll back down memory lane? Think about the times your body been afflicted with sickness and the medicine seemed like it wasn't gonna help you. And you tried doctor after doctor but you call on Jesus. Oh, oh Lord. I said you call on Jesus. Some of you called on in the midnight hour. And the morning, the noonday, driving down your car. But you call on Jesus. Do you know him to be a healer for your body? I know I'm not by myself in here this morning. I said, do you know him to be a healer for your body? Yeah. Hey. Some of us been through some sickness yeah, yeah. that we have not even testified about. Oh, yeah. But if we give God the glory, what's due to him? Yeah. We'll give God the praise. Yeah. We'll lift this roof off the sanctuary today. Because oh, our praise wouldn't be able to contain it all. We can't contain all the goodness. Oh, the miracles who work for us. Think about times when you had problems in your marriage. You wanted to throw in the towel. But then God come in and work it out for your good. He fixed it for you. He made ways on your job. When you wanted to walk out the door, did he give you more power? Did he give you more power? Y'all don't sound like he gave you power. When you wanted to walk away from Jesus, when you wanted to give up on the church, but you prayed and you prayed and God gave you more strength. Did he give you power? Did he give you more power? When you wanted to give up on your children, when it seemed like they was going to stray, when it seemed like they was leaving from everything that you had still doing them, but you kept on praying, yes you did. I know some of you are still praying, but you got to believe it before you see it. You got to see your children saved. See your children working for God. Huh? See your children filled with the Holy Ghost. Huh? 
See you children doing great works and wonders, huh? Enhancing the body of Christ, huh? Believe it. Thank you, Jesus. Just believe it. All you gotta do. Just help paint the size of a mustard seed. He's gonna work it out for your behalf. He's already going before us. He's cleaning up the right away. Yes, he is. He's cleaning up the right away. Yes, he is. You're preparing me for my miracle. Huh? You're preparing me for my breakthrough. Huh? He's preparing you for your other. Get ready. I said, get ready. Oh, Lord. It's hard. 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 our seats right now but give him glory right here it's half the time it's half the time your miracle is common your deliverance is common your increase is coming it's coming see yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord, everybody. And once again, praise the Lord, everybody. I do first give honor to the most high, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And may the pastor and first lady do pray to co-pastor Sloan, to Mother and Superintendent Wilson, to our elders, to our minister, to our missionary deacons, to all our visitors and friends, amen, to all of God's people. And Last but not least, amen, to the speaker of the hour, amen, Elder K. Rue Easter on today, amen. And we thank God for our praise team. Let's give God a hand pray for our praise team on today. Amen. Now this time we got our very own missionary Rose Jury going to come and do a continuation of our outreach ministry from Friday night, missionary jury. Praise the Lord, everyone. Radio Outreach Ministry for August 18, 2019. Sister Leticia and Brother Albert Ferguson, Sr. and family, $20. Brother Joshua Rams and family, $20. Deacon Earl Wilson and family, $35. Minister Mary Cook, $10. Brother Michael Dupree, $7. Brother Randy and Sister Gladys Dupree, $35. Elder Michael Whitehead and family, $20. Digger Michael and Missionary Jackie Sloan, $20. Minister Sylvia Artis, $10. Mother Mary A. Brown, $5. Brother 
Missionary Deborah Mason, $5. Missionary Eliza Beasley, $10. Sister Virginia Beasley, $10. Giving us a total today of $207. Friday night total was $265. Giving us a total for the week of $472. We thank you. God bless. We thank Missionary Rose Drew for reading our outreach. On behalf of our pastor and our first lady, we want to thank you for your past, your present, and the future support that you contribute toward the church of the Holy City. I mean, it's you to help make it possible for us to win the loss of Christ, amen, to get this gospel outside the four walls, amen. And we thank God for your giving. And we thank God for missionary, I mean, Minister Mary Cook, amen, she paid her Adam and Eve due service with $35. Minister Cook, amen. So if anybody want to pay the Adam and Eve service from last Sunday, amen, you may see missionary. Amen, Mason or myself, amen. God bless you. We thank you. At this time, we ask Missionary Jessica Lee come and read a portion of our announcement that you know what is going on here at the Church of the Holy City, Missionary Lee. Amen. Giving all honor to my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ, of course, to Bishop and First Lady and Co-Pastor, to Superintendent Wilson, Mother Wilson, to Chairman Deacon Sloan, of course, amen, to all the elders, ministers, missionaries, deacons, saints, and friends, and to all members who are traveling, amen, we are praying for you. Um, this week on Thursday, Minister Elijah Lee will be bringing forth the word at a back-to-school revival at Community Fellowship Church of Deliverance with Apostle Evans. Again, that's Thursday night at 7 p.m. Also, our very own Minister Cheryl Dupree will be bringing forth the word in September. That'll be September 8th at 3 p.m., and that is at Christian Antioch Church Number 5 in Ebony, Virginia. Amen? Amen. 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 Um, this month, amen, we are going to be in our next week of revival, amen. It'll be a great time. I think we can use it, amen. So it'll be the last week of August. It'll be August 26th. Our very own elder, Broadneck Sr., will be with us. And then on the 27th, I believe, is open at this time, um, but we will be having a speaker for that night. Then on the 28th, our very own missionary, Jackie Sloan, will be bringing forth the word. Then on the 29th, Chairman Deacon Timmy Sloan will be bringing forth the word. And then to wrap us up on the 30th, Elder Michael Whitehead will give us the word. Amen? Amen. Amen. We want to get excited about revival. Amen? Amen. Also, as we move to the month of September, beyond um, just Minister Dupree's word, um, two other additional announcements. One is that first Wednesday of the month, we will be having Bible trivia again here at Holy City. Amen? Amen. 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 So co-pastor has the new list of questions that you can study and prepare for. Amen. So feel free to see her or one of us can get it for you. Amen. But that'll be that first Wednesday in September. That night will be a sign for Bible trivia. Then also in the month of September, that last Sunday in September is a fifth Sunday. So just remember that we will be having Holy Communion. Amen. But we also will start at 1030 a.m. for our youth service. Amen. So as our children get ready to go back to school and some are already in school, we want to prepare them for that as well. Amen. 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 Want to recognize all visitors. Amen. Even if you come here once a week or once a month or whenever you do, we just want to recognize you and they say thank you for joining us here at Soli City. Amen. 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 We're glad that you're visiting. Amen. Feel free to see any of the ushers or any community members. Amen. We'll be happy to support you in your visit. Amen. Of course, remember that membership is also an important part of sowing into God. Amen. So just know we are available to you if you need us. Amen. Amen. Today we have a mighty woman of God giving the word. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to hear Elder Easter. Amen. Amen. I don't think she likes people talking about her, but I do believe that she is a strong woman of God. Amen. And she will bring us a mighty word. So prepare yourselves. Amen. God bless. We thank Missionary Lee for reading our announcement. Let us bear the announcement in mind and govern ourselves accordingly. Let the Lord bless you real, real good. At this time, amen, let us, we're coming for an offering. Amen. We want to bless the house of God. Amen. The Bible tells us the more blessed to give than it is to receive God's love. They cheerful give. We have our tie box on my right, which we, amen, that's what we do first. Amen. Pay God a tenth of what God has blessed us with all week or all month, wherever it come. Amen. And then we bring an offering to the house of the Lord, amen, and God blesses us, amen. 
And we thank God for that. And this time I asked Deacon Micah Drury to come and help me with this offering. And Elder William Drury Sr. and Minister John Smith, amen. These brothers will help me with this offering. And I'm going to start out with $50. Now, if they have their say in the service, will be in the hands of Mother Wilson and Ashley. Amen. Church, I'm a part of digging off with $20. Praise God, and I'm following all of them. I would like to also add 20. Amen. Say everything hand to Mother Wilson and the Ushers.
We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We lift you up and we bless your name. El Shaddai. We praise you, Lord. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega. We bow down and we humble ourselves before you. Realize that you're the only true and living God. Hallelujah. You're the maker of heaven and earth. Hallelujah. The creator of mankind. We come thanking you, Lord. We thank you for all the offering, all the tithes that have been paid, Lord Jesus. All the vows that have been made, Lord Jesus. We ask you wash, you clean, you sanctify this money so it be used to edify your kingdom, to beautify your storehouse, for all the bills to be paid so that souls may be saved. Hallelujah. Be healed, delivered, set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that the kingdom and the enemy be torn down. Hallelujah. Be divided, be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For we paid our tithes and our offering. Hallelujah. We cast our bed upon the water. Hallelujah. Knowing that it shall return unto us in a few days. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for rebuking the devour for your name's sake. Hallelujah. You said, try your seed until you open up the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing that it won't be room enough to receive. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that our seed, hallelujah, our fruit, our vine, the flower shall not fall to the ground before it's time, hallelujah, before it produce fruit, hallelujah. Hallelujah, worthy of your calling. And we thank you, we praise you, Lord. This and all be done in Jesus Christ's name. We praise you and we love you, Lord. Amen. 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 I do give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, this morning. Pastor to the co pastor to the first lady, the church mother, Chairman Diggum Sloan, to you, you, and you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just a blessing to be back in the house of the Lord again. Hallelujah. For another third Sunday. Hallelujah. And we just thank the Lord for that. Hallelujah. We just thank Him. Hallelujah. From keeping us down through this last week, hallelujah, and he kept us, hallelujah, and we just thank him for the blessings, hallelujah. And this time, we got about three minutes before we go on air, and we got this dynamite choir back here today. Yes, it's a generational choir, the young choir, or what, how do y'all want it today, the generational choir, but we're going to, we getting ready to prepare to go on air, so, so let's receive the Holy City, the generational choir, as they prepare us for the radio now. Come on now, let's let's give them a praise, hallelujah. Open. 
hallelujah. I'm so grateful, hallelujah. You brought me through this, hallelujah. And you brought me through that, hallelujah. Lord, I'm grateful, hallelujah. If you're grateful this morning, you ought to give the Lord some praise, hallelujah. Because he brought you through this, hallelujah. He brought you through that, hallelujah. He brought you through sickness, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I thank you, hallelujah. I thank you, hallelujah. I thank you, hallelujah. Because he's so grateful, hallelujah. He's so grateful, hallelujah. And we meet and greet you in the presence and name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, hallelujah. We are the church of the holy city. And we're coming to you live right here from our church sanctuary located right here on Davis Street in the town of Emporia, Virginia, hallelujah, where our pastor and founders, the most honorable Bishop Nathaniel Dupree and First Lady Minister Queen Dupree, hallelujah, where Minister Kara Sloan serves as our co-pastor, hallelujah. And this morning, our music's being rendered by Sister Leticia Ferguson in the Holy City Generational Choir, hallelujah, singing grateful, hallelujah. Lord, I'm grateful, hallelujah. Are you grateful this morning? Are you out in radio land, internet land? Are you grateful this morning for what the Lord is doing for you, hallelujah? They said, Lord, I put clothes on your back, hallelujah. Put shoes on your feet, hallelujah. Put food on your table, hallelujah. You ought to be grateful, hallelujah. Somebody ought to be giving the Lord some praise, hallelujah. He didn't have to do it, hallelujah. But he did, hallelujah, and we're grateful, hallelujah. We're grateful for what he's doing, hallelujah. And we're going to be grateful for he, what he's about to do, hallelujah. We ought to give God some praise, hallelujah. If you think about, hallelujah, what the Lord have done for you, hallelujah, you'll be praising the Lord, hallelujah. You'll be praising him, hallelujah. And we just thank you, hallelujah. We thank you and you and you out in Radio Land from tuning your hearts and minds in this direction, hallelujah, to help us to lift up the name of a true and a living God, hallelujah. That's right. God ain't dead, hallelujah. He's very much alive, hallelujah. And he's alive right here today, hallelujah, in the church of the holy city, hallelujah, where we're going to give him some praise, hallelujah. And we hope you stay tuned for the next hour, hour and a half for some of the best gospel music, gospel preaching you're going to find on this side of Emporia, Virginia, hallelujah. And later on in our program, hallelujah, we got a woman of God that's going to bring the word, hallelujah. She's going to can preach, hallelujah, and will preach, hallelujah. None other than our very own Elder Keru Easter, hallelujah. So just stay tuned, hallelujah. Don't just stay tuned, hallelujah. You got time to get here, hallelujah. We're broadcasting, like I say, we're broadcasting live. So come on down and help us lift up the name of the Lord, hallelujah. It's all right to listen to it on the radio, hallelujah. It's all right to see it on TV, hallelujah. But to be involved, hallelujah, to come on down, hallelujah, to get that anointing as you want walk through the door, hallelujah, and we just thank you, hallelujah, because he's grateful, hallelujah, and at this time, we got our scripture reading, we got our very own sister Faye Lee that's going to come to you with our scripture, let's stand on our feet and give her the praise as she come forth. Giving unto God, who's the head of my life, the bishop, first lady, co-pastors, all the elders, ministers, saints, and friends, good morning. I'm going to be reading from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. <clears throat> Finally, brother, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have faith not. But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from all evil. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you, that ye both do and will do the things that we command you. And the Lord that will direct your heart unto the love of God and unto the patience waiting for Christ. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. We thank Sister Lee for the reading of the scripture. And at this time, we got Sister Rita Drury that's going to come and let you know who's having a birthday here at the Church of the Holy City for the month of August, who's having an anniversary, and give you the names on our prayer list. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord everybody. Bishop Nathaniel Dupree and the Church of the Holy City. We want to take this time to wish the following members a happy birthday for the month of August. On the second, Sister Crystal Easter. Amen. On the second, Sister Erica Chambliss. Amen. I'm going to go back and correct. Sister Crystal Easter, her birthday is on the third. Amen. On the 6th, Mother Virginia Beasley. Amen. 
On the 12th, Brother Aaron Bronack. On the 13th, Elder Michael Whitehead Sr. Amen. On the 14th, Missionary Shirley Bronax. Amen. On the 16th, Brother William Deloach. Amen. On the 20th, Sister Danisha Valentine. On the 21st, Minister Edna Harrison. On the 25th, Brother Levi Sloan. And on the 28th, Sister Roxanne Wilson. Amen. We want to wish all of you a happy birthday, and may God continue to bless you all with many more birthdays to come. We would like to wish a happy anniversary to Brother Gabriel and Sister Kelly Drury on the 6th for 15 years. Amen. Brother Leonard and Missionary Brenda Hicks on the 17th. They celebrated 28 years. Amen. Brother Randy and Sister Gladys Dupree on the 22nd. They will be celebrating 38 years. Amen. Deacon Timmy and co-pastor Minister Carrie Sloan on the 30th, they will be celebrating 39 years. Amen. We want to wish you all a happy anniversary. May God continue to bless your marriage and add many more years. On our prayer list this afternoon, we're praying for Mother Virginia Beasley. We're praying for Mother Christine Bronax, Mother Lizzie Mae Seals, Mother Mary Brown. She is here on this afternoon. Good to see you. Mother Doris Jones, Minister Edna Harrison, Brother Joe McDowell, Brother Billy Gillis, Brother Keith Earl Baker, Brother Travis Owens, Augusta Correctional Center, Southside Regional Jail, Southern Virginia Regional Medical Center, Greensville County Correctional Center. We're praying for all of our school systems and we're praying for families who have lost loved ones. Amen. Amen. We thank Sister Street of Hurry that and at this time we're going to the word of prayer and we got our very own minister Sylvia Art is going to come to you with prayer and if your name wasn't on that prayer list when she called it when she, young lady just call it you are under sound of voice this prayer goes out to you you and you minister Art. praise the Lord church give it unto God amen to the head of my life amen to Bishop Dupree amen to Mother Queen, amen, to co-pastor, amen, to everyone in the respect of praise, amen, to the speaker of the hour on today, amen. Let us bow our heads in the world and pray, amen. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, Father, we come this evening, Father God, first of all, say thank you, God. Thank you, God, Jesus, for another day, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for your son, Jesus Christ, dying on the cross for our sin, God. Thank you, Father God, Jesus, for being a way maker, Lord God, Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for your word, Father God, Jesus. For your word will not return unto you void, God. We come on this morning, Father God. Thank you, Father God. The last night was not our last night, God. And we come on this evening, God, Father God, to lift our hands and say, God, thank you, God, for your grace and your tender mercy, God. We thank you, God, Jesus, for we realize if it had not have been for you on our side this morning, God, that we would not have been here, Father God. Because of your tender mercy and your loving kindness, God, you're so fit for us to come back into the household of faith, God, to lift up our holy and righteous name, Lord God, Jesus. To lift up your holy and righteous name, God, to give you praise, God, on today, Lord God, Jesus. To tell you, thank you, God, for another day, God. Thank you, God, for putting food on our table, Lord God, Jesus. Thank you, God, Jesus, for being, Father God, our healer on today, Lord God, Jesus. Thank you, God, for being our loyal God when we was in the courtroom, Lord God, Jesus. Thank you, God, Jesus, for watching over our children, God, when they strayed away, Lord God, Jesus. Thank you, God, for standing in the gap on today, Lord God, Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ, God, for there is power in the name of Jesus, Father God. You said in the word of God, Father God, in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, God. You said in the word of God, Jesus, that demons tremor at the name of Jesus, Father God. You said in the word of God that we can speak the word of God and it shall be so, Lord God, Jesus. And we speaking on this evening, God, we speaking healing on this evening. We speaking master breakthrough on this evening. 
We speak it on this evening, God, that you are turning around for the, the glory of God, God. You said in the word of God that all things work together for the good of, of the Lord, Lord God Jesus. And it's going to work for our good, God. And we're calling the forth on this evening, Lord God Jesus. We're calling our children saved on this evening, God. We're calling our husbands saved on this evening, God. We're calling, Father God, our wife saved on this evening, God. We're calling, God Jesus, everything that we touch, God, hallelujah. It is saved, Lord God Jesus. You said in the word of God Jesus that the anointed destroyed yoke, Lord God Jesus. And the anointed, Father God, is a burden moving on this evening, Lord God Jesus. We move the heavy loading, Lord God Jesus. Set the captains free on this evening, Lord God Jesus. Break every yoke, Father God Jesus. We come to lift up your holy name, God. And God, we just thank you, God, for just being Jehovah Jireh, for just being our provider, God. For being a bridge over trouble, water, God, for standing in the gap, Lord God Jesus. God, we ask you to bless everyone on the presence this day, Lord God Jesus. Bless the Reed family, Lord God Jesus. Bless our marriage, Lord God Jesus. Bless the household of faith, Lord God Jesus. Bless Bishop of and First Lady on today, Lord God Jesus. Bless Father God, everyone in their respective places, Lord God Jesus. God, we know you're able, Lord God Jesus. Because you wouldn't able, God, you wouldn't put it in the word of God. Hallelujah. We know right now, God Jesus, that you are working it out for our good God. And we thank you right now, God in the fence, Lord God Jesus, that all is well, God. We ask you to bless the woman of God on this evening, God. And just have your way, Father God. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, God. Thank you, Thank you God. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen and amen. 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 We thank Minister Sylvia Artis for that soul stirring prayer. Hallelujah. And we thank God for the power of prayer because there's power in prayer. And at this time, we got Missionary Jessica Lee that's going to come and let you know what's going on here at the Church of the Holy City and some of our upcoming events. Amen. We are the Church of the Holy City and we welcome you to all of our services. Sunday school begins at 9.30 a.m., followed by praise and worship at 11 a.m. Every Wednesday and Friday night, service is held here at 7 p.m. In addition, every fifth Sunday of the month is youth service here, followed by Holy Communion. That service starts at 10.30 a.m. Our Sunday radio broadcast outreach ministry is on WEVA on the radio dial from 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. And then, of course, again at 12 noon to 1.30 p.m. You can also tune in on channel TV, channel 17, a amen. Um, every first and third Sunday is Pastoral Sunday at Clairsville Baptist Church with our very own Pastor Claude Roberts and First Lady Roberts, amen. That service begins at 11 a.m. They also have Bible school at 10 a.m. For the month of August, amen, our very own minister, Elijah Lee, will give forth the word on a back-to-school revival at Community Fellowship Church of Deliverance. That'll happen this Thursday, the 22nd at 7 p.m. It will be under Apostle Evans, amen. In addition, we will have revival here at Holy City, and everyone is welcome, amen. 
Amen. We will start out on the 26th with our very own Elder Broadneck Senior. Amen. And then on the 27th, we will have a service and we will have a speaker. On the 28th, our very own missionary Jackie Sloan will be bringing forth the word. And then on the 29th, Chairman Deacon Timmy Sloan will break the bread. Amen. On the 30th, Revival will wrap up for the last days of August, and that will be Elder Michael Whitehead as a speaker. As we move into the month of September, our very own Minister Cheryl Dupree will be the guest speaker at Christian Antioch Church number 5 in Ebony, Virginia. Amen. And that service will begin at 3 p.m. In addition, that fifth Sunday will occur in the month of September. Amen. Everyone is always welcome to all of the services anytime the doors of the church are open. If you would like to request a free prayer cloth, please send a stamped envelope to the Church of the Holy City, P.O. Box 175, Emporia, Virginia, 23847. If you would like to order from our DVD ministry, you can reach us at 434-348-3172. If you would like to sow in a financial seed towards the Church of the city, Holy City, of course, the good ground that God is building up, amen, you can do that and send your um, financial blessings to Holy City Church, P.O. Box 175, Emporia, Virginia, 23847. In addition, you are able to do that via the website, amen, which is just under the Holy City Church. Also, we encourage you to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, amen. Make sure you're putting positive words out there, listening to a word anytime you need it, amen. And please, of course, share and like and pass around to your friends and family. We encourage you to continue to be blessed, amen. We pray that God will bless you spiritually, physically, and financially. Yours in Christ, Bishop Nathaniel Dupree, pastor and founder. Amen. Amen. We thank Missionary Lee for the announcement. That's bad announcements in mind. And go yourselves accordingly. And you, you, and you out in radio land, internet land, or however you're in, getting in contact with us, you're welcome to any and all these service here at the Church of the Holy City. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah, it's word time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got a great woman of God that's going to come and bless us with the word of God today. None other than our very own Elder Keru Easter. Hallelujah. But before she comes, hallelujah, we got this dynamite choir, hallelujah, that's going to come with one selections of their children. So let's receive the choir, hallelujah. And after the choir, the next voice that you will hear will be none other than Elder Keru Picoya Wilson Easter. Somebody told 
told me there would be Father, there's an angel. Somebody told me that he's a fly, every one of my days. I see the lightning flashing, and I heard the thunder roll. I see the lightning breakers dashing. Because they try to conquer my soul, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I don't believe he brought me this far. I don't believe he brought me this far. Don't believe he brought me this far. He won't leave me. He won't. He won't. He won't. He won't leave me. He won't me up this morning. He won't leave me. He started me on my way. He won't leave me. He won't, he won't, he won't. He won't leave me. He won't leave me. He won't leave me. He won't, he won't, he won't. He won't, he won't, he won't. He won't leave me. He won't leave me. He won't, he won't, he won't. He won't leave me. He won't leave me. He won't, he won't, he won't. He started me on my way. Make this in bottom day. He won't leave me. He won't leave me. He won't leave me. He won't leave me. He won't, he won't, he won't, he won't, he won't leave me, he won't, he won't, he won't, he won't, he won't, he won't, he won't leave me, he won't leave me, he won't leave me, he won't leave me. He won't leave me. He won't leave me. Amen. Give him praise. Amen. Give him glory. Amen. The choir said he won't leave me. Do anybody believe that he brought me this far? I don't believe he won't leave me now. If you believe that, why don't you give God glory? I said, why don't you give God glory? He's worthy. He's worthy of your praise. Come on, give him glory. Amen, musicians, don't push me today. on yesterday and after the food was eaten and everybody was served you know amen the world did their own thing amen yeah. they got their songs that they dance to amen and I looked at them and I stood back yeah I stood back and I looked at them and when their song came on they acted just like who they were serving Amen. And as the praise team was singing today, I said, if the world can do it, and then shame about it. 
tell y'all what the enemy meant for evil. What the enemy meant for evil. God can turn it around. God can turn it around. God can turn it around. What you mean? The enemy said that we have quite a few on vacation and he might have told some of y'all that don't come today that there ain't gonna be many people at church today so ain't no need for y'all coming. Quiet, he might have told y'all don't sing so hard because right? there ain't gonna be many folks here to hear you today. But the devil is a liar. Word tells me that where two or three, that we got more than three musicians here. The Bible said where two or three are gathered in my name. He said, I will be in the midst. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have your way to take Now, Something may have happened to you this week. Not maybe just to you personally, but it happened to somebody that you cared about. Somebody that you loved. It happened to me. But the enemy meant it for evil. But I tell you today, let me prophesy to you today. That God's gonna turn it around. Do I have anybody out here believe that God's gonna turn it around? God's gonna turn it around. For my good. For my good, for my good, he's turning around, he's turning it around, he's turning it around, for my good. Oh, give him glory, give him praise. Oh, praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Lord, have your way in this place today. Let your spirit rain down. Uh, turn it around. Turn it around. Hallelujah. We'll be so grateful. We'll be so grateful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. <laughs> Hallelujah to the Prince of Peace. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You can take your seats. Amen. The choir song said, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that he brought me through this. I don't know what your this was, but I'm so grateful that he brought me through this. I don't care what you're going through on this week. He'll bring you through that also. Do y'all believe that the Lord will bring you through it? I ain't gonna say you can click your fingers, pop your fingers and Turn around and he's gonna fix it for you just like that, but he'll bring you through it. Somebody said if he brought me to it, he'll bring me through it. Hallelujah. Amen. We honor our pastor and our first lady on today. We honor our co pastor. Our Chairman Diggins Sloan, amen, our Superintendent Wilson and Mother Wilson, 
um, to all of our elders, amen, here in, in the audience. We have any ministers in the audience. We honor you today, amen. We thank God for everything that has been said and done. Amen. We honor those that are at home that can't make it. We want them to know that we have not forgotten about you. Amen. That your name is still on our list, in our heads, and on our minds. That we haven't forgotten about, amen, the elderly and the widows. Amen. We, we, amen, we're still praying for you. Amen. We thank God, amen, for the praise team. Amen. Give our praise team. Amen. We thank God for the musicians and the choir. Amen. Ain't gonna mess with y'all to death, but musicians and choir know that y'all play and y'all sung better than that hand clap they gave you, okay? You know, after a while, God get tired of begging you to come to him, and we get tired of begging you sometimes come to Jesus. After a while, we just take a break and we sit and wait for you to come Amen. After a time, we get tired of begging you for your hand claps and your praise. God, I have to be done so much for you. You've been enjoying the service so much that you can't wait to give them praise. Now give our choir and our musicians. I am so grateful. Play praise. Let me tell you, this choir and these musicians have not showed up the day y'all been asking everybody. Y'all be like, what happened to the choir? Where the musicians? What's going on? Nobody here to sing. So, amen, we thank God for them. And to our visitors, amen, praise the Lord. Come on, y'all. Visitors, we are so grateful for y'all today. Amen, and to y'all that are not visitors that showed up today, y'all know who y'all are. Man, I'm so grateful. Give those that usually come but just happen to show up today. Amen. I was—I said one time when I looked back and I didn't see somebody that I—I I thought I ought to have seen that I wanted to see, and I said when I get home, I am, I'm not gonna tell anybody to give her not a message. I said I'm gonna call myself, and I'm gonna tell them that I look for y'all today. Amen? Amen. 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 So y'all figure out who y'all are. That I look for you, but you showed up. Anyway, let me get out of the way. Amen. We are praying for those that are sick and that are homebound. Amen. Brother Joe McDowell, Mother Doris Jones, Mother Christine Broadnack, Sister Lizzie Seals, Mother Mary Brown. Someone said that she was here today. Mother Brown, can you wave your hands, please? Amen. Just raise your hand up just a little bit, Mother Brown, so we can see you. Amen. Amen. When y'all see the lady with the little green, lime green hat and the lime green suit on, that's Mother Brown. Amen. Amen. And we're praying for Sister Mother Her to, to Mother Harrison and to all of our saints. Amen. And we just bless the Lord for our being here. Now to the word of God. Now, if you have your, your Bibles or your iPhones or Amen. Whatever phones you have, amen. Um, we're going to ask that if you would turn with us to St. Matthew, the seventh chapter. It's just going to be a couple of scriptures, and I'm going to try. I said I'm going to try and get out of your way. Amen. St. Matthew, the seventh chapter, and we're going to begin at the 24th verse. It, it's just a few verses. So if y'all don't mind, stand up just so we can read these little few verses and amen and get out the way and do what God say do and we're going to give you a word today and we hope that it edifies your soul and encourage you to go on through the week. Amen. St. Matthew 7 and 24. Amen. And, and as, as um, Ecclesiastes say, there's nothing new under the sun. Y'all right. may look at this verse and say, oh Lord, I know this verse. I know all of them by heart. I've heard it so many times. Amen. You may not have heard it this time. Like I'm going to give it to you this time. So, so stay and wait patiently and listen with eager ears. You might hear something that you have not heard before. And I say it might. Amen. St. Matthew 7 and 24. Therefore, somebody say therefore. Therefore. Y'all better talk to me today. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man. Somebody say wise man. Wise man. 
We built his house upon a rock. Somebody say, I'm building on a rock. I ain't building on people. I'm not building on things, huh? but I'm building on a rock. I'm building on the rock of Jesus. Say, Jesus is my rock. Amen. And everyone that heareth these sayings of my... Wait. And I would liken unto him a wise man who built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended. And the floods came. And the winds blew. And beat upon that house. And it fell not. Why? Because it was built on a rock. It was built on Jesus. The rock of my salvation. And, it, and the wind descend, rain descended. And the floods came. And the winds blew. And beat upon the house. And it fell not. For it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that hears these sayings of man. Y'all are here today and you're listening, but you won't do. And the words say, if you hear the words and you do with them not, she'll be likened unto me a foolish man. Somebody say foolish man. Foolish man. And this is what this foolish man did. The Bible said he built his house upon the sand. He built his house upon the sand. Yes. What does that mean? That means that this man relied on people. Right. He may have relied on his parents. Yes. She may have relied, relied on her husband. Yes. He may have relied on his wife. Yes. But for some reason, parents left. For some reason, wife and husband is gone. Yes. These things are just temporal that they are saying and you can't build on them. One day you can walk into your job and they tell you because of bankruptcy or low production, we're going to have to shut this job down. Saying, don't build your, your hopes on saying on your job. Don't build your hopes on your career. Don't build your hopes on your success. These things are just saying they're just temporal when the rain comes, when the wind blows. These things will not stand. You got to stand on the word of God. And it said that the rain descended and the winds blew and the floods came and it beat upon that house and it fell. And great was the fall of it. Because it did not build, did not have the right foundation. That you build it on something that wouldn't last. That you build it on something or someone that wouldn't stand. That when the going got tough, that they got going. As our bishop say, when the rubber meet the road. They left us. Amen. And for some unknown reason, amen, it may not be that they just left us, but they just had to leave this old world. Yeah. But for some reason, they're not there. That now I'm in this storm and I don't know what to do. And my sermon topic is in the form of a question today that when your winds and your storms come, when the floods come, when the rain come, when the wind blows, yeah. are you prepared for the storm? Yeah. Look to your neighbor and ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, yeah. are you prepared yeah. for the storm? Yeah. Amen. You may take your seat. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Job told us, amen, that man that is born of a woman. Job said he's of a few days and he's full of troubles. Yeah. What does that mean? It means that he's going to have some storms come in his life. Yeah. That trouble will come. Yeah. Now Job, the Bible said Job was a perfect and an upright man. Yeah. The Bible said he feared God, amen, excused evil, that he shunned evil, that he didn't do no wrong, but Job still had storms in his life. But it was one thing about Job that Job knew. The Bible said he trusted in God. Yeah. 
He lived upright. He was a perfect man. He knew the word. He knew that God was able to take him through any storm. Yes. Job had built his life on a rock. He had built his life around his children. Because the Bible say one day, amen, the winds or whatever came. And it said it took every one of Job's children away. Yes. And all the Bible said, Job sinned not. It even said it took his possessions and his, amen, it took his houses away. Yes. But he still stood because Job's faith was founded on a rock. Yes. That rock is Jesus. Yes. And because Job faced storms in his life, we're no different and we're not exempt. We can be exempt from certain things and there are other things that we can be exempt from. Kids in school can be exempt from exams if they have done so well, but amen, you will not, no matter how good you live, you will not be exempt from storms. They gonna come, don't let nobody fool you when you give your life to Jesus, that you gonna be living, living in the Garden of Eden, amen, that every day gonna be smelling like roses, don't let nobody fool you, that your storm is gonna come and you gonna need something to take you through your storms. Yeah. Uh, amen. I preached a message, amen, about a couple of weeks ago to don't give up so easily. Uh, yeah. Amen. When your storms come, if you're grounded on the rock, yeah. you won't give up so easily yeah. because you know that Jesus got my back. Uh, yeah. Because he told us that he would never leave us yeah. nor he will forsake us. Yeah. Amen. People leave. Jobs go. Amen. But Jesus said he would never leave us nor forsake us. Are you prepared for the storm? Amen. Meteorologists and weathermen say that the peak hurricane season is between August and November. What month we in now? Now we're at the peak of hurricane season. We're at the peak of our storm season. Now, some of y'all have been in the peak of a spiritual hurricane season. If you hadn't been, they wouldn't have posed the phrase that if it ain't one thing, it's another. That's your peak season. That's your peak storm season. Huh? That's your peak hurricane season. And then we get to the point that we change it all around that we say if it ain't one thing, that is three things. Huh? If it ain't this, then it's that. Yeah. That's our peak hurricane season. Now, but we know in this life, even though they have told us that the peak seasons for hurricanes and storms is between August and November, we got sense us to know that our storms can appear at any time. Yeah. Life storms have no appointed time. They will give you no warning. They won't text you and say, hey, this is life storm. I'll be to see you in about a week on August the 26th. I'm coming at around 10 o'clock a.m. Be ready. Now y'all be prepared because life storms and text you and told you that I'm coming. But this ain't how it works, honey. Life storms can pop up on you at any time. Sally, they can come to your house at any time. And I say that to you because you know how pop-ups go. That you can't pop up at my house any time. Well, I'm not going to say mine, but some of y'all don't just, people don't like you now just popping up. At their house. Anytime. Oh, I just stopped by to see you. Uh uh, you better call me. Is that right, sis? You better text me. You better let me know that you coming. I heard a relative tell me one day, say, look, I don't do pop-ups. If you coming, don't think you coming in. Life storms do pop-ups. They don't text you, they don't call you. They don't Facebook you. They don't inbox you. They don't Instagram you. Honey, they don't let you come and they just pop up. That's 
why I'm telling you today to be prepared. A storm is heading your way. We know when we see the dark clouds forming and they get in the cloud, they get in the sky and they get all dark and gray uh -huh. and black. 99.9% .9 of the time, we for sure that a storm is coming. Yeah. That storm has pretty much announced itself by the clouds in the sky. Yeah. Amen, but life storms don't give you no announcement. Yeah. They don't give you a warning. When you go to the doctor on money, on Monday, he won't give you a warning. When he finish, amen, your test, he might give you a bad report. He can say the illness that you have is sickness unto death. A storm. A pop-up. Are you prepared? Have you studied your word? Have you been in your word? Have you sent your praises up? Have you been grateful? We sing the song when praises go up. Yeah. Blessings come down. Yeah. Why y'all got to pick me up? Y'all know ain't about this. But we sing the song so when praises go up. Yeah. Blessings come down. Yeah. Now even though sometimes you may not be in the need of a blessing. Yeah. Even though sometimes storms have not knocked on your door. Climb through your window. Sit through the crack in your wall. Amen. Now let me tell you, amen, storms can come in in the least place that you think they might come in. As my daughter told me when I said, you might have this goody two-shoe daughter or this two goody two-shoe son or amen, you might, those kids might be good. But a storm can still come in. Yeah. Storms have their way of sometimes of making up out of nothing. Yeah. And sending us rain. Yeah. Sending us flood. Yeah. That we think will take us out of here. Yeah. But they word told us in Isaiah said, look, I'll send you through the fire and you won't get burned. Yeah. That the floods will come and you won't get wet. But you got to be prepared. Now, if you're not prepared, that word wasn't meant for you. You can't use that word to me because you wasn't prepared. Revelation told us that, God, that heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. You have got to be prepared. Look to your neighbor, amen. Try to clarify something with them. So are you prepared? Amen. The song wrote, y'all sit down, y'all sit down. I'm going to try to talk this through. Amen. The song writer wrote, said that there's a storm out on the ocean. And it's moving this away. It's going that away. It's coming this away. And it's going that away. What do you mean, K. Ru? It's coming my way. Bishop, you know, two years ago, 2017, they will come your way. They will come your way. They will come your way. That none of us are exempt from storms. The Bible says, amen, that we all going to suffer, amen, storms. That temptation will come. But amen, the secret is... Are you prepared? Yes. Have you anchored your soul in Jesus? Yes. Douglas, Miller, Douglas Miller penned this song a long time ago. Yes. That my soul is anchored in Jesus. Yes. He decided that if the winds keep on blowing, yes. he decided that if the storms don't cease, yes. that my soul, my soul. your soul, yes. If we are anchored in Jesus, yeah. that we will be steadfast, yeah. that we will be unmovable, yeah. huh? that we will be like a tree, planted yeah. by the waters. Yeah. I shall not, I shall not yeah. be moved. Yeah. Look to your neighbor and say, I shall not, I, shall not. I will not, I, I, 
cannot be moved. Give God praise. Now, I'm not saying don't think I'm crazy. Amen. Don't think I don't have good sense. I say you won't be moved. That means if that storm comes, that it will not move me out of Jesus. That it will not shake my faith in Christ. Yeah. That I'm still aware that with God all things are possible. possible. That he's my alpha and my omega. Yeah. That he's my beginning and my ending. Yeah. That he's omnipotent and he's omniscient. Yeah. Means he's all powerful. Yeah. That he's everywhere. Yeah. That he can do all. All things. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he did. Look, just because he's taking care of your storm, that don't mean that he can't handle my storm. Amen. You know the National Guard, amen. Just because they send one unit to one state, that don't mean that the government is out of National Guard people. That, amen, if your state, state is in disaster, that they got National Guard that they can send to my state. Your house is in an uproar. All right. God got angels. Yeah. He's going to dispatch to your place. Yeah. If my house yeah. is in an uproar, yeah. God ain't ran out of angels. Then he got angels that he can dispatch to my house. Yeah. Amen. The soldier told him, said, just speak the word. Go ahead, Go ahead, Soldier told him, said, look, you ain't even got to come in my house. You don't have to step through my door. You don't have to do a pop-up. Just speak the word. And I believe that it will be done. Go ahead. Amen. Raise your hand if you believe it can be done. Yeah. Now, a storm is coming. Now, in life storms, you're not going to get that weather alert. They're not going to come on the TV. Say, alert, 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 alert. They're not going to do you like that little robot. None of y'all don't remember this. I think it was on Dr. Robinson or Dr. Smith. That little robot came said, danger, 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 danger. Yeah. This is just for the baby boom with people born way back in the 1960s. Yeah, Google it. Y'all Google everything else. Google that. But there was a little robot that it would tell Dr. Robinson that when danger came, it would go, it would say, danger, 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 danger. But let me tell you something. Your storm and you don't have a robot that's going to come and tell you danger that your storm is coming. Yeah. I'm telling you today to be prepared. Yeah. There's a storm heading your way. Yeah. And we don't have those little alert radios either. Your alert radio is your heart and your mind and yourself in Christ Jesus yeah. letting you know that amen a storm is coming. Because yeah. you've read the word, you've already been alerted. Yeah. The word All of God right. alerted you already yeah. that a storm is coming. Yeah. That you better be ready. Yeah. Hey. Paul told them one day when they was getting ready to get on that boat and take those prisoners somewhere, he said, look, don't y'all go this way. I wouldn't put them on the boat that way and take yeah. them this way. He said, because a storm is coming. Yeah. But they didn't believe Paul. Uh -huh. They like some of y'all, they rather hang on to them little broken pieces. Uh -huh. But see, I don't like broken pieces. Uh -huh. I don't even like broken pieces of cookies. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't even like broken pieces of potato chips. Uh -huh. yeah. It takes you too much to try to get them out the corner of the path. Yeah. I'd rather listen to the word of God and get yeah. the full effect yeah. of the word. Yeah. Come on, give God praise. Don't tell All, All my right. time is bowed up. Now, if you must, don't get me wrong. Because uh -huh. some of y'all, I need to correct myself. I need to make myself plain. Because right. y'all be the one out and said what well, K. said, don't hang on to the broken pieces. But the word of God in the book is said that they hung on to broken pieces and they were saved. Yeah. Well, I'm not telling you to don't hang on to the broken pieces. Uh -huh. I'm trying to tell you how you can keep away that you have to, amen, hang on to broken pieces. Yeah. And if you do it right the first time, if you listen to God the first time, yeah. If you listen to me today, if you listen to all the ministers every Sunday, every day, you won't have to hold on to the broken piece. Yeah. Give God praise. Yeah. All right, now, my last 
five minutes, I want to tell you, because I don't want to leave and not tell you how to be prepared for your storm. I'm going to try and give you four things that you need to do to be prepared for your storm. The first thing is pray. The Bible tells us that men ought to always pray. It tells us in Thessalonians to pray without ceasing. That means when I get up in the morning, I'm going to pray. When I'm riding down the road in my car, I'm going to pray. I'm going to say a little prayer. I'm not closing my eyes. I'm not texting a prayer, but I'm going to pray. When I get to my job, I'm going to pray. Because y'all know we need prayer on some of our jobs. Not only pray, but during the week, I'm going to fast. Meaning, I'm going to pray and I'm going to fast. And we got to have both. The third thing, I'm going to have faith and I'm going to believe the word of God. For the word of God says that without faith, it is impossible. It says it is impossible to please God. So therefore, I'm going to keep the faith. Y'all remember back in Matthew when, when this man brought his son to the disciples? His son was a little sick and can I just be plain and out front? Amen. He told him, he said he was a lunatic. But what he was telling Jesus, he said, look, I brought my crazy son to the disciples. They couldn't heal him. They couldn't do nothing for him. At the end, Jesus healed this man's lunatic son. But he let the disciples know that this only come through by prayer and fasting. So you got to pray. You got to fast. You got to keep the faith. And you got to believe. Number four, you got to do Exodus. Somebody say Exodus. You got to do the 20th chapter of Exodus. Wait, Kerry, what does the 20th chapter of Exodus say? Google it. Turn to your Bible. Read it. Read it out loud. Sometimes when you read it out loud, it looks like you can hear it better. You can understand it better. And not only Exodus 20, but one of our famous scriptures. Every time, most of the time, the bishop calls you to the altar, he quotes Romans 10 and 9. That if thou confess with thy mouth and believe with thy heart that God has raised Jesus Christ from the dead, that you shall ready to shout that out. All right. Now, the way that we are getting these kids, children, I won't say kids because some of them are, All right now. are high school kids. The way that we are getting them ready to go back to schools, we, we buying them school supplies. Uh-huh. We buying them papers and pencils. We buying them tablets and notebooks and backpacks. And, and I saw some back there. We buying them computers and crayons. Uh-huh. The way that we prepare for nature storm. That's the way we need to prepare for life storms. All right. When the weather forecasts that there's going to be a bad storm and that we may lose power, the first thing we do, we run to Walmart or we run to Lowe's. We're going to buy bread. We're going to buy milk. And I don't know why you buy milk because if they say we're going to lose power unless you got a generator, (laughs) that means your refrigerator is going to go off. It depends on how long the power going to be off. That means your food going to spoil. Yeah. Your milk going to go sour. Yeah. So they don't just leave that milk in Walmart. Yeah. Now, the way that you prepare for those storms. Some of us go out and we buy generators. Yeah. Let me tell you what to do. In your life storm, instead of getting a generator, right. get God. Yeah. Get to get God. Yeah. Instead of running out and buying candles, Get Christ. For the word tells us, he said, Jesus said, I am the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the light. Jesus will light your way in a storm. Before you go out and buy plywood to to nail up your windows, get some prayer. That prayer will cover your whole house. It'll cover the contents. We don't need the plywood. And when they say that the gas pumps might go out and 
you want to go and get some extra fuel? What your fuel is in life storms, huh? Get some faith, huh? To fuel you, huh? To stand fast, huh? And believe, huh? That God will, huh? Bring me through this. Yeah. Yeah. And he'll bring me through that. Are you prepared today? Tell your neighbors and neighbor, get prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared. <laughs> Cause I don't care whatever your sounds bring. Huh? Yeah. It could bring rain. <laughs> it could bring hell. <laughs> it could bring sleet. <laughs> it could bring snow. <laughs> it could bring sickness. <laughs> it could bring poverty. <laughs> it could bring brokenness. <laughs> get prepared. Just be prepared. <laughs> For your storm. Hey. It's coming. All right now. And I want each and every one of you to yeah. be prepared. Yeah. That when your storms come, uh. you can say that my soul is anchored uh. in Jesus. Come on, child. Amen. And just in case hey. that my winds don't cease. Uh. Amen. Stand to your feet and just in case. If they keep on blowing, yeah. you can say that my soul, hey. my soul, my soul is anchored, is anchored in Jesus. In Jesus. You can tell your neighbors that I'm prepared. I'm prepared. The Bible tells us that when the time comes, hey. Amen. In Revelation, it told us that we don't have time to get ready. Uh. That we are supposed to be already yeah. ready. All right now. Revelation told us, let the unjust be unjust still. Yeah. He said, let the righteous be righteous still. Yeah. Let the holy be holy yeah. still. Yeah. When the time comes that you won't have time, you may not have time Come on now. to prepare yourself. Yeah. Now is the acceptable time for you to be prepared. Yes. As our pastor, our co-pastor come, make up in your mind today that I know that my life storms are coming. And I know that I'm going to have some storms in my life. And some of us can say right now that I'm going through a storm. I don't even look like what I'm going through. You can't be tell ready, what I'm going ready, through. Be ready. Why can't you tell what I'm going through? Because my soul yeah. has been anchored in Jesus. Yeah. I prepared myself. Yeah. Sometimes they may shake me, but they don't move me. Yeah. Sometimes, and I'm not going to fool you, sometimes I have to cry. Yeah. Sometimes I have to fall in the floor and cry to God and let the Lord know that I need you, Jesus. Yeah. Hey. I have to pray and I have to fast. That life storms are coming. Yeah. And y'all, I want y'all to be ready. Yeah. Those of you that haven't accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, we extend this to you today yeah. to accept him. Yeah. Prepare yourself. Yeah. Amen. The day is coming. Yeah. Amen. And God told us hard not to harm. I don't care what it is that you're going through. I don't know what you're going through. Yeah. But I serve a God that can do exceedingly, yeah. abundantly, yeah. above all that we can ask or think. Amen. As the choir you sing softly, and as our co-pastor, pastor comes forth, make up your mind today yeah. that in the peak season, in August, I'm going to yeah. prepare myself for what's coming yeah. next. God bless you, and heaven smile upon you. Yes! in the
whatever you are facing, and some kindness heart He's able to, to see you through the night from pain. There's nothing too hard, neither there's anything too difficult. Still that hope that lies that God can't handle. It reassures. He's a heart picker, he's a mind regulator. He's a burning bride where he's a bridge over how long that is. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm depending on you to see me through this situation. Sometimes it seems like I'm between a rock and a hard spot. Seems like I can't move from, but I refuse to back up. Give me strength, Lord. Give me power. Give me wisdom. Give me knowledge. Help me to keep moving in the direction that you are leading me. The devil is on my mind. Trying to turn me back. But I'm determined not to turn back. I'm going to keep holding. I'm going to keep striving. I'm going to keep looking up. I'm going to keep believing. I know you're the way maker. You're the burden burner. You're the bridge over high water. Lord, I'm depending on you. There's going to be storms. Lord, we thank you now. Come into my life. Forgive me for all my sins. Make me a new creature. Make me a new creature. Make me a new creature, Lord. I want to be your child. I want to live for you, Lord. Unmovable. The Lord. Despite the ties. I'm yours. Lord. And you are mine. The song. Any day and any time. You are mine. Now, Lord. Just in case. I refuse to turn back. Thank God for the word. Thank God for the word that I heard today. The word give me strength. The word give me power. The word give me hope. Oh Lord. There have been times I stood at the crossroad of this season. Wondering which way to go. But after hearing such a powerful message today, I know one way to go. My hope lies in Jesus Christ. It is happening. Lord, I pray you. Lord, I live for you the rest of my life. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you for the word. Somebody say thank you for the word, Lord. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the word. It's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. I never turn back. I never look back. I always will praise God the rest of my time. Give God a round of praise. So has been anchored in the Lord. Let the hand and praise him. What a word. At least the what a word right on time. God give you the food. To feed us spiritually. We thank you for the word. Thank you, Elisha. Thank you, Audium. Thank you, Choir. Thank you, Praise Team Lady. For all them that desire you to be here with us was unable to get here. We want to let you know that we're praying for you. As she already said, Brother Joe Daniel McDowell. Mother Linda Macea, Missionary Christine Barnett, Mother Doris B. Jones, 
Sister Virginia Beasley, and the list goes on. While you are standing, church, we thank you. Remain standing. Our missionary Deborah Mason, will you come up here, please? Will you come up here, missionary Deborah Mason? Or Major uh, Lieutenant Deborah Mason, come up here and face the order, daughter. Yeah. Uh, face the order. Yeah. Minister Sylvia Artis, come and stand beside her. God is good, church. If, if y'all are still here, I don't know whether they're back there or not. All right, Minister Leonard Jenkins, come and stand in the middle of them. Thank you for being you the small, the smallest one. And stand, and stand there. We thank God for y'all and these two, three people. I want you to let you know today that they have been so supportive. They've been such a blessing. The Spirit led me to do this. They've been so supportive. They've been such a blessing to the house of God. At their own time, at their own expense. I'm going to say that again. At their own expense, their own time, they've been a blessing to Holy City Church for many years. We had our Adam and Eve service a few days ago. And I tell you what, these three people got this church looking some kind of good. They got this church looking some kind of good. The kitchen was decorated. The kitchen was decorated. The church was decorated. Half of the church was painted. I mean, showing up paint. Five gallons, buying five gallons of expensive paint, buying all these flowers, spending hours and hours out here, working in the day and night to beautify the church. And I think they deserve the praise. I told them to bring the tab to the church, the little ticket. They said, no, 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 we don't want nothing. Uh-uh, I'm, I'm buying, I'm paying for it, I'm doing this. That's the way Christian ought to do. <laughs> Ain't except narrow dime, neither a nickel. They work, clamming loud, paint, Doing what, doing what I should have been doing if I was able. Yeah. But nevertheless, I want to get y'all here. Uh, Mother Wilson, now look, I don't want these people to check these people's hands. I just want them to just mark right by and tell them to keep up the good work. You lead them around, Mother Wilson. <laughs> Y'all can, y'all can touch them, but don't shake the hand now. Some of them got on ring, and some people don't know how to shake people's hand when they got on ring. Just touch them and tell them to keep up the good work. You can, <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, choir. There's a storm out on the ocean, y'all can and touch it's moving y'all can touch this away. If you're so not angry, Jesus, you will surely drift away. There's a storm out on the ocean, and it's moving this away. If you're so not angry, Jesus, 